Hello YouTubers. So today we're going to be talking about how to get data from uh, a database into a combo box. I, had, I got a lot of requests about that, so uh, let's go ahead and get started. This is actually pretty simple and straightforward. I'm going to be using the Northwind database, and then in here there's a table called Customers. And um, this table, I'm going to get the, um, the contact name column. Yeah, it's called contact name. And I'm just going to get those names and put it inside a combo box. So really straightforward. Uh, go ahead and start a new project here in Visual Studio 2010. It's, it's a Windows form application. And I'm going to, uh, first thing I'm going to do is add a combo box uh, to the form. And I'm going to change that combo box to a friendly name. So say CMB names. And also I'm going to add a button in here. And then I'm going to call the button get names. And then um, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm also going to add uh, a namespacing here. SQL.data, the SQL client. In here, we have a lot of classes that we're going to be using. The SQL, SQL connection class. If you don't know or not really sure how to use these classes, I have other videos that you can use. Um, I'm going to be connecting to my own, my own computer. So servers, uh, so called PC, uh, the database is going to be equal to Northwind, and it is a trusted connection. So authentication is Windows authentic authentication. Equals trusted. So that's my SQL connection stream, and now let me create a SQL data adapter. And then from, from the database, I'm going to be bringing the customers table. So I'm going to select everything inside the customers table, and my pipe is going to be the connection string pipe. Now I'm going to create a data table. And then I'm going to use the uh, data adapter to fill that data table. At this point, I'm going to put a a breakpoint in here. I'm going to press F5, and then I'm going to press my get names in here. I didn't like that. Oh, it's not trusted. It's true. My bad. Okay, here we go. Let's try this again. So click names. It's going to stop over there. I'm going to press F11. It's going to run. And you didn't like that. Why? Because this is customers. Wow, a lot of little things, huh? Yeah, misspellings here and there. It's part of programming. Get used to it. You're running to a lot of this. Get names again. Let's give it another try. Press F11. And now that you went through, I'm just going to, I'm just going to put my cursor right, right on top of the data table. And I'm going to double click the magnifying glass. And now you, can, you have a view of what the data table looks like in memory. So as you can see, I have all my data in here. And on top, of that, you have the column, the column name. So contact name is the column that we're interested in. Uh, what I'm going to use right now, I'm going to use uh, the for keyword here. And I'm going to initialize this uh, with the variable i. And I'm going to ask to loop through all the data table rows until the count is equal to the number of, uh, or it less, it's, it's less than the number of counts of rows. And I'm going to increase by one. So the way that I add, I just use the uh, combo box, combo box names dot items dot add uh, method in here. And I'm going to add data row dot rows. And then the row number is going to be equal to i. So it starts with 0, 1, 2, 3, and so forth, all the way to the end. Um, and the column name that I want is contact names. Is it names or name? Take a look at SQL here. So contact name, that's what we're, that's what we're interested in. So contact name. I'm going to close that. And let's run the project one more time. So actually, I removed that breakpoint from there. Run the project. And then as you can see, I have nothing right now, but I'm going to click Get Names. 
and then I look at it again, and then it's filled with names from the data table. Um, another thing that we can do too, as you can see, I don't have, it's not in alphabetical order here, so um, we could use the order by keyword here to our SQL statement. Order by contact name, let's run it one more time. I'm gonna bring it in, and you can see no data, click names, and now it's filled with data in alphabetical order. So as you can see, it's pretty straightforward. You just have to iterate through every single row inside the data table and choose the column name to add to the comma box. Really simple, really straightforward. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching and subscribe. See you guys later. Bye.